I'm sure you've heard about the devastating volcanic eruption that occurred in Tonga at the start of the year 2022. The eruption was the biggest in the 21st century, and it sent shockwaves around the globe. Even more disastrous eruptions have happened in recent history. And you may be startled to learn that this was not an isolated event. Off the shore of France's Mayotte's Island, a large underwater volcano chose to erupt in 2018, and the effects were astounding. Astonishingly, large earthquake waves were recorded by seismometers across the world. Researchers were shocked when they discovered a 2,690-foot-tall underwater volcano that is more than twice the height of the Empire State Building and about one and a half times the height of the World Trade Center Building. Over 11,000 detectable earthquakes were caused by this massive magmatic event. Deformation of the sea bottom was so significant that it could be felt across the world as a result of the catastrophe. How can these volcanoes get so hot and ferocious? We're going to take a look at some of the world's most destructive undersea supermassive volcanoes in this video. Stay till the very end if you don't want to miss out on the fun. Between the end of February and the beginning of May 2019, the researchers discovered around 17,000 seismic events at a depth of 12 to 31 miles beneath the ocean floor. This is a lot deeper than the bulk of earthquake epicenters are. Searching at lower frequencies turned up an additional 84 instances. The data collected by the team helped them put together the sequence of events that resulted in the development of the new volcano. To explain the formation of geologic dikes, scientists assume that tectonic plate movement tore the crust apart, allowing magma to ascend to the surface. An investigation of what caused the volcano to erupt was completed by the team. In this way, magma reservoirs under this layer were able to ascend to the surface, as well as reactivate faults that were already in the mantle. As magma flowed to the sea bottom, resulting in an eruption that produced cubic miles of lava and a new volcano, these faults caused the earthquakes. At a depth of around 34 miles or 55 kilometers, volcanology has never previously encountered a deep reservoir at the lithosphere, which is the outer shell of the globe that contains the upper mantle and the crust. In May of 2021, the region's seafloor was still collapsing and earthquakes were still happening. Many other types of eruptions are predicted to occur in the future. A fresh caldera collapse, steeper slopes under the sea, onshore eruptions, and more. Since the Krakatoa tragedy in 1883, there have been other undersea volcanoes that have burst into flames. The latest supermassive undersea volcano eruption, however, does not need us to go back that far in time. Volcanologists are still trying to figure out exactly what happened and what it means for future volcanic hazards after the eruption of the Hungatonga Hunga Hapai volcano on January 15th. A tsunami, a sonic boom, and hundreds of lightning bolts were all triggered by the undersea Tongan eruption, which may possibly have resulted in acid rain. Tonga's adjacent islands were leveled by a tsunami caused by an ash plume pushed into the upper atmosphere by a Tongan volcano the eruption may potentially have resulted in acid rain. Volcanic tremors were felt in many regions of the world thanks to the eruption. As a result of this eruption, researchers estimate that it might be one of the most powerful in the last 30 years, with entire villages wiped out by the ash or seriously devastated by the accompanying wave. The eruption has affected more than 100,000 people in Tonga, and at least three individuals have died as a result of the eruption. It is unfortunate that the earthquakes continue to jolt the area, and the fear of volcanic eruptions is not yet over. The eruption was powered by a fresh batch of magma coming from deep beneath the ground, according to preliminary examinations of ash from the explosion. NASA has calculated that the blast force was 10 megatons, making it more powerful than a nuclear bomb, and it's likely that the calamity was merely a warm-up. Even the UK's official weather agency stated that it had an impact on the country's air pressure. 
It's like a slumbering beast has awoken, and we might be in for a few weeks or perhaps years of intense volcanic activity. Experts now assume that the magma system is softly rumbling, causing these little yet deadly explosions. Theoretically, according to experts, Tonga is starving. In the midst of the ocean, Hunga Hapai, an underwater volcano, is made up of two uninhabited islands. Before the eruptions of Hunga Hapai and Hunga Tonga, the volcano's cone was barely 300 feet above sea level. But under the sea lay a massive 5,900 foot high and 12 mile wide underwater volcanic system. Volcanoes construct the borders of new oceanic plates and supply the world's rarest creatures with their essential heat and chemicals. Most underwater explosions occur below the surface of the water, resulting in lava flowing down the ocean floor. Hundreds of islands have formed as a result of volcanic activity all across the planet, from the Asia Pacific to Iceland. The United States and its territories are home to 161 of the world's 1,350 potentially active volcanoes. On the seabed of the Pacific Ocean, the number of undersea volcanoes is thought to be in the millions. There are about 75,000 of these undersea volcanoes, each rising to a height of a kilometer above sea level. Volcanoes that have erupted and are no longer active are the lone silver lining amid these black clouds. Everyone wants to know what Hunga Tonga and Hunga Hapai will do next. The Tonga Geological Services are being assisted by professionals from all around the world with the crisis, which is now the most critical. Take time to think things out and then act accordingly. Whether the eruption will halt, continue at a lower level, or be blown out of the water is entirely still up in the air. Your decision on whether or not to take action will depend on what the near-term future holds for this volcano. In the wake of this eruption, volcanologists are re-evaluating the risks associated with underwater eruptions in general. The earth-shattering Tongan eruption serves as a stark reminder that these kinds of volcanoes do occur, pose a danger, and are still little understood. Volcanic eruptions of this magnitude are becoming increasingly common, and you may be asking why. Multiple of the world's most active volcanoes make up the Pacific Ring of Fire, including the Tonga Volcano, which has erupted several times in the last several years. Horseshoe-shaped from the southern tip of South America to the north coast of North America, the Pacific Ring of Fire extends from Japan to New Zealand. Located at the intersection of the Pacific and Indian plates, it is a natural wonder. In terms of both seismic activity and volcanic activity, it is often regarded as the most active in the world. Around 75% of the world's active volcanoes are located inside the Ring of Fire, which is also the epicenter of 90% of the world's earthquakes. Lower temperatures throughout the globe and spectacular dawn and sunsets were caused by Mount Pinatubo's 1991 eruption, the largest Ring of Fire eruption in recorded history, which occurred in the Philippines. On May 22, 1960, an earthquake measuring 9.5 on the moment magnitude scale struck Valdivia, Chile. 61 persons died and severe damage was inflicted by the tsunami that resulted from the earthquake. We can only pray that another supermassive volcanic explosion does not occur at this time in the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is a circular area in the Pacific Ocean.